you have to be safe. I, as an elderly person, I climb it to even show example to people that this is the way to go. Most time we are always in an hurry and um, you know there is traffic everywhere and all that. So people want to just take an alternative route to get to where they are going to. It's not right, but we, we do it sometimes. But for those who have a challenge, maybe there should be an alternate thing the, the government would provide for them to, to cross. But if you don't have an issue, you just have to do the right thing. I prefer causing than using the pedestrian. There are some people who have phobia for heights. And most of us, the reason why we do use uh, normal this thing eh, instead of pedestrian is because we felt stressful. Before you climb this thing, you are already tired. Then some people are carrying load. So carrying load with this thing, moving up, is another problem. Many people want shortcuts. So they prepare crossing here than using the Penestra Bridge. But it's not right. It's good to do what is right. The Penestra Bridge is being guided. So there is no need for scaring that you will or fall down or nothing else. So it's being guided by iron. So it's very safe. There's no problem about that. You can use the Penestra Bridge. I don't think there's any excuse saying it's because of health. I don't think there's any excuse. It's dangerous crossing the express. It's an express, it's not even an ordinary street. And it reduces traffic uh, jam on the road if you use the pedestrian bridge. If you look at the bridge, for instance, it's quite long. It's quite a distance. So people feel, let me just go across in five seconds, I'm on the other side. But I think it's safer to use the bridge and, you know, a driver might be coming, field break, eats you, and that's the end of the road. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.